Hi guys, Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have such a fun video and I am collabing with one of my good friends here, Ashley from Ash Loves Coupons. So today we are sharing with you guys how we've incorporated Dollar Tree items with our home decor. So she's going to share with us how she has decorated her home with home decor from the Dollar Tree. Her girls have a mermaid bathroom. So I am so excited to see how she has decorated the girl's bathroom. And she, <laughs> so funny, she said that her husband was really excited we did this collab because it got her to clean the bedroom. Oh my gosh. Josh and Chris, my husband, I know that when those two get to a ball game at some point, they are really just going to hit it off with each other. They've met a few times, but um, very briefly, but once they get a chance to sit down and actually talk with each other um, for a longer period of time, I know they're going to be, they're going to make good friends. So, um, so like I said, this is a collab video. So definitely go and check out Ashley. Subscribe to her channel if you haven't already. She is fantastic and an excellent couponer. So if you like saving money and if you like mommy hacks, then definitely go and follow Ashley. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so gallery walls are some of my favorite ways to um, decorate in my house. So um, I actually got these picture frames from the Dollar Tree. So I have a picture of my daughter Scarlett, and then we have Sawyer right here, and we have the two kids together. And then I found this sign right here. It says home, and it has that like wood distressing, looks very farmhouse because that's the style of my home. Um, and then we have one over here um, with Tanner. And then also I found this sign at the Dollar Tree. So it says family is forever. And then I have an S right over here on top. And then I have a cross right in the middle. Um, it's kind of like a space in my house where it was bare walled for a while, but I wanted to put something here. I just didn't know what I wanted to put here, but this is what I decided to put here. I spent probably about a whole entire day figuring this wall out. At first I had put it where the mirror was, but then I didn't like it. Um, so then I thought, okay, it's going to work out really well here. So I am pretty happy with this. And I'm even more happy of the fact that I was able to get these pieces from the Dollar Tree. So then we also stuck some of those um, cotton pieces. What are these? The cotton stems that we hauled from the Dollar Tree. I actually put these in this little galvanized tin vase. Um, not from the Dollar Tree, but I used Dollar Tree items to kind of spruce up this little corner from my front door. Um, so that's how I have that set up here. Um, and then I found a wall decal that says welcome. And I didn't put it on my wall. <laughs> I put it on my door. So I thought that would be a good place for it. Um, I was going to put it right here, but there's going to be a reef that's going to be coming here pretty soon. But um, that's what I decided to do um, with this wall decor right here. And yes, I got that from the Dollar Tree also. And it looks very fall inspired with the leaves. And I just thought it went with the season. So that welcome sign went up here. Obviously, it's not going to last too long. Um, it's probably going to peel off eventually. But I thought, you know, it worked well there. A very cute sleeping baby. <laughs> and I have a little welcome to our home sign that is fixed into our bookshelves right here next to a home wooden sign. So that flowed really well with the galvanized tin and the farmhouse lettering and the burlap. And this was a dollar, dollar tree guys. And then I also did a DIY with these frames. So this is a dollar tree frame. And then I put inside one of those dollar tree um, magnet frames inside of the frame. Um, so I have one right here and then I have one right here. And I actually went with one of your guys' suggestions with taking the glass out and I think it fit really well. Um, so that's how I was able to flow some Dollar Tree in with my regular um, home decor. So I thought that this worked out really well. I used to have a coffee sign over here, but unfortunately the kids got to it. So it is no longer here, but that's okay. Um, also, I picked up these flowers, which it's going to be time for me to um, dump the real flowers really soon because they're starting to die. Um, but I just kind of livened up my floral bouquet um, with the Dollar Tree cotton stems as well. So 
Um, I need to take out the uh, Dollar Tree ones out so someone doesn't actually throw these away. But um, this is how I kind of spruced up a full floral arrangement. So now I'm gonna look for fake florals of this white flower and these pale pink roses so that I can make my own, you know, fake floral. But I thought it worked really well together. So I was happy with how this turned out. And I just kind of taped up the florals so that they would stick pretty close. Um, so I went ahead and just taped around the florals. Um, and fun fact, this vase has been in our family for a very long time. My mom said it was from her great aunt. So this has been in the family for over 100 years. So that's awesome. And so I guess magnets count as home decor, but <laughs> I got these uh, magnets from the Dollar Tree and I use these to just jot down notes or numbers. Um, I help keep me accountable for water. Um, and then I also put a do not forget and I'll put if the dishes are clean or dirty. So that's Dollar Tree. Um, also this uh, pineapple magnet to hold the dry erase markers so they don't get lost. So that's Dollar Tree as well. And then I have so many different um, magnets that have been sent to me from my friends. So I have a few uh, pineapple bag that's right here and then I have this coffee one from my girl Brittany Tolberg and then I also whoops, and then I also have a uh, oh my gosh okay so I have a my tribe clothespin uh, magnet as well so I did one on the fridge um, with my husband and the kids and then the other two I have them in frame so that's Dollar Tree as well Okay, so I mentioned to you guys that I really like doing gallery walls. So I incorporated this frame right here into my little staircase gallery wall. So I thought that these two woods went well together. So that's why I placed this one right here alongside my farmhouse pineapple. So Dollar Tree, then my farmhouse pineapple. Oh, the sacred pineapple. Oh, <laughs> bow down to the pineapple. <laughs> Shush. Okay, so over here, I actually have a vase that my husband got me for uh, Valentine's Day a few years ago. And I just put some of those Dollar Tree cotton stems in here so it flowed really well. Um, and then I also have this sign that says, let's run away. So I put that right here because this area, corner of my house is dedicated to just my husband and I. So our uh, wedding photos and these were the and glasses the and the sacred pineapple. <laughs> uh, and these are the glasses we toasted to um, at our wedding. So I put those right here. You gotta keep them up high. Otherwise our son would have broke them ages ago. Um, and then I have, you know, this whole section is dedicated to Chris and I, and then I stuck this let's run away together because one of our favorite things to do without kids is to run off to Vegas. So I thought that that fit really well. Um, so this sign right here was Dollar Tree and the cotton stems are Dollar Tree as well. And then upstairs here, there's more that I want to do with this wall. I just don't know yet but it'll come to me eventually it'll come to me um, but I found this sign at the Dollar Tree as well so it just says this is my happy place and it is a framed picture and it has you know the wood distressing very farmhouse kind of it really flows um, and then I have 8 by 10 photos of all three of my kids. So this is Scarlett, she's in the swing, and then our middle son, Sawyer, he's in the swing, and then our youngest, Tanner, he's in the swing as well. So I went ahead and framed their photos, each of them in the same stage of infancy, in the same swing. So the frames and the wall art up here, Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna add to it, I just don't know what I wanna do with it. Um, so then coming over here to Sawyer's room and Tanner's room, um, I went ahead and just made this piece. Well, I guess it's not really all Dollar Tree, but I found these letters at the Dollar Tree, the stickers. Um, so I got this wood piece at Michael's and then I just made the baseball stitching and then I put the letters um, on the sign. So that was Dollar Tree as well. Got this 
wall peely. It says, you don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And I thought that that flowed really well with photos of our kids. So um, I went ahead and I wasn't sure where I was gonna put this guy. But I thought that this was the perfect place because when I'm coming down the stairs and when I see it, I'm reminded that we do not have to be perfect in this house. If I'm having a bad day and I'm coming down the stairs, just reading this kind of snaps me back into reality and I know I don't need to be perfect. So love having inspirational things like this in my house to remind me of stuff like that. And then this piece of wall art right here it says loves begin at love begins at home so I thought it really flowed with the photos of the three kids and then we have some other photos right here two of Scarlett and then Chris and the kids when it was just the two of them and then I paired it with this sign that we've had for a long time from Hobby Lobby so I like to mismatch my Dollar Tree decor and with the rest of my decor um, when I find that it fits well and flows to you know whatever part of the house I am currently decorating so <laughs> So, when I take time out to go couponing, he's home with the circus. Huh? My viewers should be thanking you for all the couponing videos. Because if it wasn't for you, I'd have to coupon with these monsters. Because right now, because I'm buried in kids right now. You are. I'm buried in kids. The kids are swarming over me. I can't get out. So what's really important with the Dollar Tree when you're shopping for the Dollar Tree items to decorate your house, you just need to find whatever brings value to your home. So um, for me, my home, my style of decorating is very farmhouse, very neutral. So when I find something that flows really well, then I'm gonna pick it up if it's gonna flow with my house. But if it's something that's not gonna flow um, with my decorating scheme, then I just don't pick it up. But the Dollar Tree, there's endless possibilities. There's so many DIYs that you can find on Pinterest. There's so many um, great YouTubers out there that really hit the mark when it comes to Dollar Tree decorating. If you're not subscribed to Do It On A Dime, you need to subscribe to her because she has some fantastic DIYs and she just is phenomenal when it comes to Dollar Tree uh, DIY and home decor. So if you're not following her, you definitely need to follow her. I'll have her channel linked below as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough of my house of how I have incorporated Dollar Tree items with my home decor. So again, make sure you go and check out Ashley from Ashley's Coupons. She is one of my best friends here on YouTube and I am so incredibly grateful for the friendship that I do have with her. And uh, I just love her so much. Ashley, I love you to pieces. You know that. So I hope you guys all have a fantastic day and I will talk to you all later. Bye.